In this video, I'll show you how to create an ASP.NET MVC 5 application using the DevExtreme MVC framework, which comes with Visual Studio integration. I've already opened Visual Studio, so I'm ready to create an MVC application. To create a new project, I'll select the DevExtreme ASP.NET MVC application C Sharp project template. Let's run the generated project in a browser. Here you can see the fully functional MVC data grid control. The nav bar allows you to navigate through the items, and we now have a fully functional application in just a few seconds. I'll close the browser and return to Visual Studio. In the Solution Explorer, you can see the generated project. The newly created project already contains all of the required references you need to start working with DevExtreme MVC controls, so you don't need to add any references. The content folder contains site.css, bootstrap, and DevExtreme theme files. The project already contains the home and orders controllers, the orders and sample data data models, the necessary JavaScript and views files. Let's take a look at the web.config file. It references devextreme.asp.net.data, a library that enables the ASP.NET MVC controls to consume data from the server in ASP.NET MVC applications. Now look at the layout file. The page already contains references to the site in DevExtreme CSS and JavaScript bundles, which are registered in the global.asax.cs file. and defined in the bundle config and devextreme bundle config files. Here's the navbar and content code. Let's add a new page. I'll open the home controller and add a new action here. Then I'll add a view for this action using the default options for this dialog. I'll go to the position where I want to insert a DevExtreme MVC control. To create any DevExtreme MVC control, start with calling the DevExtreme HTML helper extension method. Then call the builder method corresponding to the widget you want to create. Here, I'll add scheduler. You can also define the control options. For example, I'll specify the scheduler's width. Let's add the scheduler page to the navigation within the application. In the layout page, you can see the navigation tab settings. Let's delete the unnecessary item, change the item caption, and add the navigation URLs. And let's take a look at the result in the browser. Here you can see that the nav bar displays two items now. I can click an item and navigate to the required pages. As you can see, the light theme is applied for all DevExtreme MVC controls by default, but you can easily change this theme to another one. I'll return to Visual Studio, open DevExtreme bundle config, and change the light CSS file reference to dark. And let's see the result again. All right, everything works great. See our other videos and refer to our documentation to learn more about DevExtreme's capabilities. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.